Hello, everyone. And thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates. Your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various monetary and fiscal stimulus initiatives. Today, I am Ali, your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some exciting new developments that have occurred. Before we get into the updates for today, however, make sure that you click the box that says subscribe and that you enable the notification bell so that you are never left out of any information regarding stimulus-related topics. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. All right, let's get right down to business. Let's go even deeper into the exciting news of the $2,000 sports stimulus. C-H-E-C-K that is designed at seniors with impairments and those with incomes from Social Security. SSDISS and UASIOE. We are devoted to providing you with the comprehensive information, benefits, and insights you require in order to make informed decisions for yourself and your loved ones. Your financial well being is our biggest responsibility, and we are committed to providing you with this information. Now, A game changer that is specifically intended for recipients of fixed incomes is the stimulus check of $2,000 that was presented. Individuals who are dependent on Social Security for retirement, disability, survivors of Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI beneficiaries of Supplemental Security Income, SSIV ARRB low-income seniors, older adults, and people with disabilities are included in this category. The impact is enormous, affecting more than 70 million people across the country as recipients. In order to avoid becoming overly excited, it is essential to make it clear that there has not yet been an official approval for the fourth stimulus check, and the exact dollar amount has not yet been settled upon. On the other hand, the current state of the economy is exhibiting indications that greater financial assistance may be on the horizon. I want to underline that the eligibility criteria for these financial supports often entail income-based thresholds. <laughs> Consider the child tax credit payments which were not specifically designed for individuals with fixed incomes. Let's draw a link with these kinds of payments. This time around, there is a significant possibility that you will be included among the participants. When it comes to assessing eligibility, income thresholds are an extremely important factor. As an illustration, the most recent numbers for the stimulus package were linked to certain income limits, such as $75,000 for individuals and $150,000 for married couples. Maintaining consistency is the fundamental principle. Your eligibility for the benefits is determined by whether or not your income is lower than the level that has been stated. I can now comprehend the anxiety that comes with the fear of being excluded. The fear is a reasonable one, particularly when one considers the previous occurrences. However, here is the solace that you require. The concept of banning a sizable segment of the population from receiving such assistance is extremely improbable, especially for those who receive their benefits on a fixed salary. It is the intention to make certain that those individuals who have a true need for the benefits are able to obtain them irrespective of the source of their income. It is essential to emphasize the significance of the income criteria that are utilized in these programs. In the process of passing legislation pertaining to stimulus payments, representatives frequently attach certain income criteria in order to assess eligibility. Due to the fact that, let's face it, income thresholds are really important. This is a crucial issue to take into consideration. If you are concerned about whether or not you will be included in the next round of stimulation checks, I am aware of your concerns. 
Over the course of several years, this issue has been building up in the comments area, and I would like to admit that the prospect of being excluded can be emotionally discouraging. Rest assured, however, that you are most likely included in the group unless there is an uncommon phrase that excludes a particular set of people, which is an extremely unlikely occurrence. It is my intention to provide a more comprehensive breakdown of the income thresholds, particularly with regard to beneficiaries who get a fixed income. The vast majority of people normally fall well below these income restrictions, although there is a possibility that there could be a tiny exception for some Social Security retirement beneficiaries who are still working and earning a large income. Discussing the larger economic landscape is something we should do. The previous several years have been marked by a number of market collapses and economic downturns, and we have suffered our fair share of both. In the event that the economy experiences a setback, what is the answer that is consistently given? The method of pumping money into the economy through a variety of stimulus packages is one that has been tried and tested multiple times. This pattern has been present for decades, and there is no indication that it is going to change any time in the near future. The payment schedule is an extremely important consideration for individuals who receive benefits from Social Security and Supplementary Security income. Friday, December 29, was the date when the initial SSI payment was due, and subsequent payments were planned to be sent on particular dates in January 2024. Using dates that are determined by the beneficiary's birth dates, the schedule guarantees that they will receive their payments in a timely manner. At this point, let's talk about strategy, particularly for those who are thinking about retiring. You have the ability to make a shrewd move by suspending your Social Security benefits until you reach your full retirement age, which might be either 66 or 67 years old, respectively. It is not a magic trick. Rather, you have the opportunity to earn delayed retirement credits by voluntarily postponing your payments, which will ultimately increase your monthly payout. That will be higher in the future if you wait for a longer period of time. This is a strategic move that will optimize your financial rewards, and it is like to playing chess with your retirement. Residents of Montana, the stimulus bonanza has arrived as of right now. As the distribution of rebates begins, you should get ready to get direct reimbursements that amount to a total of $2,500. With a primary emphasis on economic regeneration, the state is dedicated to delivering critical money to beneficiaries who are eligible for financial assistance. It is a determined move towards stabilizing the economy and providing quick assistance to individuals who are in need that the Montana rebate program has been implemented. The state of Alabama is taking positive action by providing relief for certain taxpayers and providing an offset for grocery taxes throughout the year. It is a program that is special to the state that is designed to provide more monies to those individuals who have the greatest need for them. Beneficiaries of Social Security and Supplemental Security income are in for a treat with a 3.2% COLA adjustment scheduled to take effect in January 2024. This adjustment promises to raise payouts in order to satisfy the ever-changing requirements of recipients who are eligible. It is important to note that the statewide stimulus check update of 2024 is not only about checks and balances. Rather, it is about transforming the financial landscape for a large number of people in the United States. Direct payments, tax credits, and rebate programs are all aimed to give vital cash, improve financial stability, and offer